Okay, um, I, I, I was sharing earlier about um, which I posted in uh, my uh, Facebook page. Uh, I made uh, just a little small portion of uh, butter, homemade butter, right? Um, this is and you put it in the uh, in the fridge actually, right? So this uh, this was uh, was earlier. Um, just for a small portion from the uh, the chicken cream. So uh, so I just want to uh, share with you. This is actually what I did. Uh, it's just very small portion, four cm by four cm. And uh, I've just uh, this is the rem remnant of my uh, of the bread that uh, I bought from the local uh, confectionery shop, right? And uh, let's just give it a try. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, it is. It tastes just like butter. <laughs> All right. Mm, it tastes just really like butter. I, I did not actually uh, put any salt to it, so I left it in its original uh, stage, right? Now I use the traditional uh, method of the uh, tumble shake in a jar. Um, I got the uh, tips from toriav.com. So you can actually give it a try uh, uh, for yourself. Uh, and um, this is something that I wanted to make for the last actually uh, uh, one year, but I, I did not get down to doing it. I did try initially with a, uh, but I used the wrong ingredient, full cream milk. So, um, and this is actually from chicken milk, uh, chicken cream. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. It's really smooth. The the butter is really smooth, and and it's in a fish. It's chilled. Mm. Yeah, it's it's really nice. <laughs> yeah, and I'm really thankful. Um, and uh, I hope that um, thankful for the you know that I managed to make it and get down to doing it. And yeah, thanks for the tips. Um, actually, Tori Avery, Avery was one of them. And last year, I actually did refer to a few more. So to those. Uh, pastry chefs and confectioners and bakers <laughs> thanks a lot right